remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. Yeah, three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. From the six. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. On first down, Wentz. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. To throw again on second down. Wentz, Rager catches it left side. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to lead to a third down. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. It's a first down on a gain of ten. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and ten. This pass complete. Wins to Ertz. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Miles Sanders. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. Doug Peterson says, let's go for two here. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 20. The Bengals drive about to get going. He'll start on the ground here with Bernard. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Giovanni Bernard, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. A gain of four. It's now second. We have played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. He'll run it. He's got the first down and more inside the 40. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. 18 on the play. Well, there you go. Save your best scramble of the day for a big-time situation in the fourth quarter, picking up the first. You don't want to use it up early, right? You want to make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 26-yard line. Now Burrow to throw on second down. Green once again the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Incomplete. It's third down. And two yards to go. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. Room here to run. 
in. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow to the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. But it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. Burrow throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. T.J. Edwards. Carson Wentz. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. That ties the game at 29. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive, and we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. Caught right side, it's Jeffrey. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that Cameron Johnston to punt for the Eagles. And the challenge pays dividends. The ref overturns the play. Everyone gets a bonus on this one, Brandon. The coach upstairs who says a signal down and said challenge it, and the head coach for pulling the red flag. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. Over the middle complete, it's green. Burrow's pass. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. Third down, and two yards to go. Throwing now is Joe Burrow, and able to find Green. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. I'm fairly sure that there's no good time to cough up the football. But this couldn't be much worse, could it? No. This situation, this yard this yard line, no chance. They set it on a tee form. They're already in field goal range here late in the fourth now. Yeah, warm up the kicker. <laughs> Just make sure they take care of the ball now. They've got a chance to put this thing away. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. Oh, so close to an interception. Read that beautifully. Got his hands on it, couldn't get it. And it's second down. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Now the Bengals gonna use the first of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. On first down, Sanders. And he's able to break out of one tackle but then quickly brought down. The Bengals gonna use the second of their timeouts 
as it comes with a minute 25 left to go in the contest. They'll go again with Sanders. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Now wins. And Jeffrey's got it. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. But now it's third and goal. And goal. On play action, wins. Dancing to his left. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Intended fourth down now, and defensively, Charles, you know, they're just asking this crew for one more stop. And you know that they're feeling the momentum right now, but they have to be very careful not to get over exuberant, over excited, and blow an assignment and give up the big first down. All right, some time to reset here. It's a huge kick there, gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that, because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. The Bengals take over first and ten. At their own the Bengals drive about to get going. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions get out of bounds. Accelerating, and off he goes. 30, 10. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you've got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get over-eager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. The Eagles take over first and ten at their own. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Wins to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It got his man complete. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Now he'll pull it down, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Back to throw. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. So for those of little faith, guess what? It got done. They now have the lead with that touchdown this late in the contest. I wonder if that was a play they were holding or a play that they just knew would work from past experience. Well, I just saw it in their eyes on the sideline before starting that last drive, and they did. You're right. They got it done. Looks like they're going to be the winners. Here's Carter now on the return. Now on the return. Oh, no, the ball is loose. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. So problems here on special teams, and it results in the scoop and the score. They talk all the time on special teams about keeping your head on a swivel, trying to see the whole field. Hard to do when things are going that fast. Bodies all over the place. You're just trying to find the right guy to align yourself with. On that play, wow. The point after through the raindrop, something good. And that makes this a nine-point game. And this is going to be snuffed 